Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's Dan here from Sports Cards UK, and in today's video, we've got another Mail Monday. So we're opening up about five parcels in today's Mail Monday. So without further ado, let's get these things open. Okay, so for package number one, we have, oh nice, okay, so we have a Charles de Catalaire, if I'm pronouncing that right, I might not be. This is someone that I've just been picking up a few cards of here and there. Um, it's almost like a, with this guy, it's, it's kind of a FOMO, it's a fear of missing out. His cards are really cheap, you can pick up pretty cheap cards. I know LDN cards picked up a really nice blue shimmer, uh, Topps Merlin Chrome. Uh, of his card which is number to potentially number to 50 number to 80 something like that uh, but this is just a base stadium chrome um i do own a couple of his cards or stickers bloody hell i own a couple of his um why oh, so i get this pen off my finger i do own uh, a couple of his rookie stickers from the champions league 2019 20 potentially 2020 21 yeah it must have been 2020 to 2021 um, just because I was collecting that book and I just actually tended to, uh, or just ended up having a couple of deb doubles of his. Bloody hell, I can't talk today. But there we go, there's um, Charles de Quetelaire, I think is, is how you pronounce his name. Currently playing for Club Bruges. I don't think he's left anyway. Um, now for the next parcel, nice, we have a graded card. So I've been picking up a few graded cards here and there. Um, I am trying to flip these as quick as possible. So some of these haven't made it to Mel Monday. Um, I've been buying, for example, I've bought a couple Rashford cards and they were out the door within a, a week. Um, Rui Hachimura is uh, someone that I am interested in. This is a PSA 9, probably because the centering is slightly off. Um, you can see the left-hand side is thicker than the right-hand side. But I picked this up really, really cheap. Um, I do plan to flip this um, on uh, probably at the beginning of the, the season. Um, the Wizards have made a, a few signings now, which is quite exciting. So I'm excited to see how the Wizards do as a team. Um, Rui Hachimura is a decent power forward. So yeah, exciting player. I think Wizards are going to have some, uh, some eyes on them, particularly this season. Um, so Rui Hachimura is always someone that I've, I've looked at, um, even when starting basketball. Uh, collecting basketball cards from 1920 season, which is his rookie year. Um, Penningley Prism, I don't think you can go wrong with. I'm not mad on base prisms because they have dipped at the beginning of the 2019-20 season. It was all about base prisms. Um, a lot of people were collecting silvers as well, which I still think is a good play. Silvers is a, a definitely a good play. Um, but it does seem like more people are moving towards the numbered parallels. I saw a statistic saying that there was more um graded there were more graded cards at PSA from the 2019-20 Prism set than soccer cards altogether which was um, when you put that into perspective that is ridiculous that one product from one season has more cards at PSA than an entire sport so that to me was was just mental so there are the print runs are astronomical um and yeah the, the cards are going to be fairly cheap, the base cards now. Um, but considering what I paid for that, I'm, I'm likely going to flip that. Um, some of the prices, I know it's a little bit cheeky, but some of the prices I'm not going to put up on Mail Monday. Unfortunately, I've had a few people message me on eBay saying, I know what you paid for it, I'm not paying that kind of thing. Um, unfortunately, I don't think they know how business works in terms of buying something and then moving something on at a, a price. I'm not necessarily listing cards at way above their um expected value maybe there are some cards that aren't currently on the market that i do own that are on my ebay page um which i have set the price at which is absolutely fine you can do that um it's a free country but yeah for some some cards i'm not going to put the prices on just because um it has been fairly difficult for me to sell them um i suppose that is the caveat of trying to be totally transparent with some of the purchases. But obviously some of the ones that I'll buy for the, the PC, obviously I will put prices on, just not all cards will have prices on at the moment. And it may be in the future that I do 
videos where I discuss things that I've sold um, in that month or that week, which is kind of a mini series I've started to do on TikTok. Um, I've been a little bit off with TikTok recently because I've just been away on holiday, but um, I, I should be back fairly soon, um, which I'm excited about. So for package number three, we have, let me just check, this hasn't got my address on it. Hi Dan, please find and close the Beyonce Top Trumps card purchased on my eBay listing. So, you might have seen this on my Instagram a lot. I did get a bit of hate for this, but I'll take the, I'll take the hit, I'll take the slack. Um, I have ordered some just here and there for, I mean, the top trumps I've been picking up at like bids, no one's bidding them on 99p bids kind of thing. Um, and so, yeah, I'm looking at, I'm, I'm all, as you know, I'm always looking at alternative investing. Um, and I think pop stars and top trumps is something that, that, that kind of does interest me. I think when you're looking at things like pop stars, you're not going to go for Daniel Beddingfield, for example, who may or may not be in this set. Um, you're going to go for people that are the most well-known. You're going to go for the, the most recognisable uh, artists or celebrities or whichever. So I know the Elon Musk card uh, from Top Trumps has particularly um, gone up recently. I know a few people are submitting it to, uh, to SGC. I have seen this particular Beyonce card be submitted to SGC and even the 2009 um, top Trumps card. This is from 2003. Um, be submitted to H to I was gonna say HMRC, SGC, and um, they have been labelling it as a rookie. So this one isn't particularly in good. It's not too bad. It's not in great condition, but these are very very difficult to grade as they are top trumps. Um, you're not going to find them in immaculate condition, I'm afraid, just because. Um, Top Trumps are a kind of a playing card type game. It's not a trading card game. You're not going to put them in sleeves and top loaders. And it is from 2003. So a lot of kids would have had these. It's going to be popular. So yeah, you're really not going to find these in very good condition at all. Um, you will slightly struggle as well as they don't fit in standard top loaders. They'll have to go into a, a one touch. Um, and that tends to be the, the best way to, um, to savor them. But this is what the, the full thing looks like. You've got an Eminem rookie in here. You've got a Justin Timberlake rookie in here. So call me what you like, but um, yeah, a total gamble. And I do love a bit of fun with my alternative rookie investing. Uh, so package number four, I think this is, we picked up a, a nice Danny Olmo uh, rookie card from uh, Panini Mosaic. Um, I did just pick this up really cheap and I'll probably hold on to it until I see Danny Olmo in the Champions League um, or potentially move from, I think it's Zagreb he plays for at the moment. But I thought he did, uh, he had quite a few chances in the in the Euros. I thought he did look quite exciting. Um, so I did just pick up one of these base rookies here for I think about 99p. So I'll probably hold on to this for a while um, and then eventually flip it, maybe in the Champions League if he if he does score any goals or potentially if he moves, moves teams at some point. And then for the final package, we have, oh wow, okay. Ah, okay, so I know the, who this is from. This is from uh, my friend, bear with me. Where's my phone? I am, absolutely terrible with names so do forgive me but I know he is a Leeds fan um, building up a little bit of a Leeds collection to send to him but he did actually message me the other day to ask if I've received it um, so I, it is I am a little bit of a nightmare so you've got um, trading card hang on let me read out your name on Instagram properly it's trading underscore card underscore unboxer um, and the French inspector is your uh, your handle. Um, I love Leeds, so send Leeds cards my way. So thank you very much um, to you. I don't think I've got your address yet, so I'll have to I'll have to send you a message to um, to confirm. But thank you for sending this through. Um, he obviously knows I'm a Fulham fan, so I've got this really nice um, 
and Greece a rookie ticket, which I actually almost bought the other day. So I'm really thankful that you sent this because this is going to go straight into the PC. Um, so yeah, rookie ticket of a Fulham player. I mean, this is a lovely looking card. Really, really happy with this. So thank you very much for this. And um, he knows I do like Andre Silva. I know a lot of people don't like my Andre Silva hype. I don't care. This is going to go straight into the PC. I do really like Andre Silva. I think he's an exciting young uh, Portuguese player. Uh, currently playing for... Who's he playing for at the moment? Frankfurt still, maybe? I have to double check that. We've got a Cinderquill. So this is from the 25th... Um, is it the two, 25th anniversary from Pokemon? Um, not a card that I own, but actually really, really nice. This is... Is this the McDonald's version? I have to double check. This might be the McDonald's version, um, which you did get in Happy Meals. So this is really, really cool. I do actually like Cyndaquil. And funnily enough, the Pokemon that I have in... The only Pokemon graded card I have, I think, apart from the a Charizard, but the first graded card I bought was a Typhlosion, which is a Cyndaquil Evolved, I think, or it's... The third, the final evolution, that's what they call it, of Cyndaquil. So I don't know if you knew that, but that's quite sentimental in a way. So thank you very much for that. It was from the uh, Neo Genesis set, I think it was. And so we got some um, some of these uh, F1 cards. So I do actually collect these, so I, I probably don't have a couple of these. Don't think I have the Schwartzman, so that's, that's pretty cool. Giovinazzi, I definitely don't have this Ricardo, so thank you very much for that. And I... Pretty sure I don't have this Leclerc either, and a Lewis Hamilton. So, wow, this is a, a very nice care package. So we've also got this uh, 1986 Argentina uh, Winners World Cup with Maradona holding the World Cup. Love that. Uh, that's Russia 2018, isn't it? Yeah. We've also got um, a David Alaba, I think, from 2012. I'm not sure what this sticker set's from. Is that David Alaba? It says, yeah, it must be. 2011 to 2012. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that must be, it's an FC Bayern München set, I believe. That's what it looks like. A nice Charmander. Very nice. Again, this is from the McDonald's set, I think, the 25th anniversary. Oh, this is cool. Never seen this before. You've got a few Terra Platinum World Cup greats, Diego Maradona. I love that card. That's very cool. A Paul Pogba stars uh, from Chronicles from this season. Very, very nice. Like a bit of Pogba. Um, I did actually pick up this the other day. Uh, so I picked up this to flip the other day. So that's a, a nice Paul Pogba FIFA World Cup Brazil and a PSA 9. This one I will keep, obviously, though. That one I will sell. Cristiano Ronaldo. Can't go wrong with him. Some would consider the greatest of all time. I think for me it's Messi. Jürgen Klinsmann. Very, very nice. A Yao Felix. Jao Felix. Oh, I'm just looking at the next one. Uh, Ola Aina. Immaculate. Very, very happy with this. And this is the purple version. So you've got the purple parallels, I think, in the cellos. Um, so really, really happy with that, actually. Really happy with that. That'll go straight to the PC. Um, as Well, all of these cards will. Oh, love this. The Bulbasaur, 25th anniversary. Hey, you've given me some of your Leeds cards. Oh, no. Robin Koch. Uh, they've got a Mario Kempes. Very, very nice. A Scorers Club. Love this. Of Alexander Mitrovic. Very, very cool. A Patrick Bamford rookie card. Thank you very much. And a car alarm, apparently. That's annoying. Uh, Ashley Westwood. Thank God. And a Michael Keane. There we go. Share the same second name. So, quite a lot of cards in this particular Mail Monday. So, thank you very much for sending that through. Uh, make sure you go and follow. I'll read you out, your name out again rather than guess it and get it wrong. Make sure you go and follow trading underscore card underscore unboxer. Um, that's very, very kind care package that you sent through there. So I'll have to have a, a rummage through and see what I've got for you uh, to send you some cards back. But there we go. I hope you did enjoy this Mail Monday. We've got some alternative investing, some Pokemon, some uh, football. Um, we've got... Uh, what else do we have? Mainly, I think that's mainly it. Oh, and some basketball as well of Rui Hachimura. 
So if you did enjoy this Mail Monday, obviously please do drop a big like on the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you on the next Metal Monday. Thanks very much.